we are cropping up everywhere. What I call the new humans. Does it feel new? Are we giving birth to the next stage of human species, folks? Do you think so? What are the qualities of the new human that nature is once again out of this crisis producing something new? The, the new human has got an evolutionary spirituality that she, she, he incarnates the impulse of evolution personally. Does anybody think they've just finished? They've done everything they need to do? Do I? No. So it's a quality of the new human. You never are finished. Why? Because the impulse of evolution is you and is in you. And when you know it's in you and you say yes, consciously to the impulse, what it does is reveal to you more and more of its characteristics. In other words, you get a picture of what you might be moving toward if you place yourself in the story of evolution and you know what, where are you going toward? Higher consciousness, greater freedom of the individual, and more complex and loving order. Is that right? Does anybody feel the, de the desire for more consciousness, more freedom, more complex order? Well, that's really good because that's evolution inside you desiring that. We didn't make up that desire. That desire is making us up. And when you say yes to it, and if you'll say a big and loud yes to it, I've noticed this in myself. It turns on big time. And then you get more and more and more <laughs> that you need to do. The name of the new human, as we are expressing it, is Homo Amore Universalis. Homo Amore Universalis would be the species of humanity coming out of the synergistic convergence of the emergence within us as individuals. But nature is doing its magic again. It's creating synergy that we don't necessarily have to do, even be conscious that we're doing. But if we are conscious that we're doing it, and we do have an opportunity to be, I would say, uh, consciously synergistic or like in a syncon type thing, coming together to co-create, then I believe we could collectively experience, perhaps for the first time collectively, what it's like to be homo amore universalis.